dry Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up Uh, what? Yeah, just making some tea with oat milk You want some? Oh my god, that's happening. My non-vegetarian husband is trying out veganism for one entire month. I did not blackmail him. He decided to do it all by himself. What's the big deal? Well, let me explain. I've been a vegan for over two years now. No. Veganism isn't about eating cashews or drinking milk. It's a lot more than that. It's about being compassionate towards animals and choosing products that don't harm them in any way. But Suraj is just the opposite. He enjoys meat and dairy. He's one who needs his multiple cups of chai every single day. And when I say multiple, I mean multiple. So it's indeed a surprise that Suraj is actually trying out veganism for one entire month. But to be very clear, he hasn't promised to turn vegan after this one month. He's just trying it out to see how it treats him. So I'm going to be guiding him through veganism for this month and I'm going to try and make it as seamless as possible. So Suraj, why did you think about taking on a month of veganism? I think I just wanted to try it out. I mean, I've seen you do it for so long and uh, because I live with you, I've also done a little bit of it, right? So, it didn't seem as intimidating to me because it was like, it's not starting from scratch and going all that way. It's a little bit, a small adjustment. Yeah. So, just from a health point of view is also what interested me. I was like, let's try experimenting with veganism for a month and see if it's you know, how I feel generally, do I feel better um, and health-wise does it make any kind of difference to me. So yeah, I thought okay, one month of one month is a good period to try it out and yeah, that's how I kind of figured I'd give it a shot. So what do you think will be the hardest for you to do as a vegan? I think it will be managing milk, I mean, because I drink a lot of tea. So. Uh, most of the other things are easy enough to forego for a month I think I'm okay not you know not having most dairy products or uh, meat and all is okay but tea like I drink three four cups a day so then that like I don't know how I'm going to work with that but yeah I mean there are a lot of alternatives a lot of vegan milk options available today so maybe some of that will work out it's a there is a month to try them out, right? So I hopefully yeah. find something that I can find, you know, palatable and I enjoy. So is this trial something for you to maybe seriously take on veganism someday or is it just another no. experiment? I am seeing it as an experiment at this point because uh, for me it's more of a practicality thing, right? So I don't really get into veganism right now because I don't want to be caught in a place or in a situation where I can't necessarily eat something just because I've said that I'm a vegan where it's not necessarily like you know going 100% I don't know if it has dividends for me right now. I'm happy trying to follow as much of it as possible but I don't want to lock myself into that thing that okay no this is like a you know cut and dry situation right. So mostly for me, it's also just to look at the health side of things and all experiment with how far can I go, right? So if instead of having, I don't know, 50 liters of milk in a month, can I maybe bring it down to 35 or like 30, right? Which I don't know. Maybe some people feel that's not good enough or whatever. But I think for me, it's a difference, right? It's a change for personally, health-wise also, and overall in terms of reducing dairy and things like that. So I have always wanted to try and strike that balance and I want to experiment this month and see how far I can get into that balance, right? So that's my objective here. So with Suraj trying this lifestyle out, 
I had to put up a good show to make sure that I made this lifestyle look as attractive as possible to him. And the one part where he would feel a pinch would be his tea. Because no matter what, vegan tea would never taste like non-vegan tea. That's a fact. So we began experimenting with different types of plant-based milks. Oat milk, almond milk, cashew milk and soy milk. My favorite is soy, but turns out Sudits became good milk which is made of cashew and oats. And thus became our routine of making our everyday tea with good milk. Thankfully for me, our everyday cooking style was mostly vegan except for the occasional egg curries Suraj wanted. But no, eggs were a big no for this month. So egg curries were off the cooking list. We did not have to make much changes to our eating routine hence. But hey, my target was to try and convince Suraj that vegan food was good enough to keep on for good. His biggest concern was the limited choices when ordering in or going out. Do you want to order in some vegan food? It's been a while since I've had steak, but I guess that's not an option. So that settles it. I do admit that vegan options online or offline is not plenty, but it's definitely catching on. And at least in cities like Bangalore, the vegan alternatives are available for almost everything. Be it ice cream, cheese, ghee, mock meat, milk, almost everything is easily available. I know it's not so in most other cities. For me, when I go back to my hometown in Kerala, it gets quite hard. But I like betting that it's just gonna get better in the coming years. Now that we've sorted out vegan options to order in, what else? Snacks. And thus the whole month went by without too many hiccups. We made vegan sweets at home and also enjoyed some vegan drinks. I do definitely have to give Suraj the credit for being a good sport and keeping up with veganism for the entire month without taking any cheat days or whining at all. Overall, let's find out how it went for him. So one whole month of veganism is now over. So how do you feel now? Do you feel relieved or like what is it that you feel? I don't feel too different. It's not like relief or like I was waiting for it to get over or something like that. It wasn't that bad. Right? So, uh, sure, I mean, I can go back to some of the things that I used to eat and go back to milk tea to some extent and all that. So not like I was relieved it's over, finally done. You know, that kind of a thing. It wasn't that bad. So did you miss your tea? I did a little bit, but not as badly as I thought. Especially in the initial like four or five days where I was trying to get a handle on what would be a good alternative for the milk that I normally use. So then it was a little tough because you try boiling it and then something goes off and then you try using it normally and it's too watery and stuff like that. But once we found a good enough option that I could live with, uh, then it wasn't too different. Like I was just, you know, just using that, right? So yeah, uh, I think that that's pretty much it. 
So to all the people out there who are non-vegans right now, so what would be your advice to them regarding trying out veganism? Educating ourselves a little bit about it doesn't hurt. Uh, that's one thing. Beyond that, I also feel you would need to have your own set of reasons as to why you want to try it out. So all I can say is it's not as intimidating or as restrictive as perhaps you know you may feel uh, if you have not really looked into it as much. Uh, especially if you are in a metro city, you know, that's hardly you, f you don't feel the difference much at all because you have a lot of resources, you have a lot of alternatives that you can try and all. Even if you are not, then there are still things that you can do. Uh, so I mean, that shouldn't. I don't feel today that's a barrier to not trying it out at least. Be clear in your own mind as to why you are trying. So like I said, for me it's more of a health thing, right? For me, it started as uh, for the environment, which later changed for the animals. So. It's different for different people. Why they turn vegan, it could be very different for each person. But yeah, like he said, it should not restrict you from at least trying it out once. It needn't be for a whole month like he did. You could just start out with a week or two and maybe push yourself to make it to a month even. So definitely try it out because it's worth a try for sure. Am I disappointed? Definitely. Because I did hope that Suraj would stay on as a vegan even after this one month. But I am still glad that he chose to do it for a month. Because most people when they try out veganism, they do just go about it for one or two weeks max. Because a month can seem quite daunting to start with. But he still chose to do that and try and see how it goes for himself. And I definitely appreciate that for sure. So what is the outcome of this experiment you say? Well, Surat still continues using good milk with his tea along with his normal milk. So I take that as a win because that has seen an incredible reduction in his consumption of normal dairy milk. And that is definitely a win because previously as a non-vegan product, dairy was the one thing that he used to consume a lot. So reducing that is definitely something I'm very happy about. Wait, wait, wait. We're not done yet. We actually have an amazing health observation that we had during this month. And this could be a reason why veganism may be actually good for your health. But I'm not giving away the suspense for you. Let me invite Suraj to come and give you this whole revelation. So last year I'd done a preventive medical checkup. And in that I found that my cholesterol was a little on the borderline side, it was around 201. Uh, but after doing veganism for one month, uh, I had to get another test done for something else and that showed that my cholesterol had dropped a fair bit, it was around 140 or so. So I am taking that as a positive, uh, this is not a scientifically controlled test or anything but it's always good to see that I tried this for health reasons and it seems to have had an impact on my health. So that's another incentive just that I am going to keep in mind going forward about maybe trying to be a little more on the vegan side of things whenever possible. And so that happened and that is indeed proof that veganism can actually be really good for your health. And for us, even if you try out veganism or going vegan for your own health, it still benefits the animals that we care about because that is less cruelty towards the animal and that's definitely a win for us. I know it can seem daunting when you hear about trying on something which is so different and you don't have to take it all at once you can even do it one day at a time one product at a time and you can just go about it as much as you can i know it might not be as easy for you in several other cities in india as it may be for me here in bangalore and that's okay do as much as you can and that indeed does make a difference. Thank you again so much for watching this video and I'm very grateful for your love and support and I will see you again in the next video. So until then, bye bye.